Trump pledges executive order on day one of presidency to end birthright citizenship for illegal aliens. Let's dive into the details, shall we? Former President Donald Trump, the GOP frontrunner for president in 2024, rolled out a new policy pledge on Tuesday in which he promised, if elected, he would sign an executive order on day one of his second term in office, effectively ending birthright citizenship for illegal aliens and so-called birth tourism. The policy proposal, contained in one of his Agenda 47 videos his campaign released, was obtained exclusively by Breitbart News ahead of its public release. As part of my plan to secure the border, on day one of my new term in office, I will sign an executive order making clear to federal agencies that under the correct interpretation of the law going forward, the future children of illegal aliens will not receive automatic U.S. citizenship, Trump says in the slightly more than three-minute long video. Trump argues that birthright citizenship for children of illegal aliens serves as a magnet and an incentive for future prospective migrants to attempt to enter the country illegally. Joe Biden has launched an illegal foreign invasion of our country, allowing a record number of illegal aliens to storm across our border, Trump says in the video. From all over the world, they came. Under Biden's current policies, even though these millions of illegal or border crossers have entered the country unlawfully, all of their future children will become automatic U.S. citizens. Can you imagine? They'll be eligible for welfare, taxpayer-funded health care, the right to vote, chain migration, and countless other government benefits, many of which will also profit the legal alien parents. This policy is a reward for breaking the law of the United States and is obviously a magnet helping draw the flood of illegals across the border. They come by the millions and millions and millions. It's things like this that bring millions of people to our country, Trump adds later in the video. They enter our country illegally. My policy will choke off a major incentive for continued illegal immigration, deter more migrants from coming, and encourage many of the aliens Joe Biden has unlawfully led into the country to go back to their home countries. They must go back. Nobody could afford this. Nobody could do this. And even morally, it's so wrong. Trump says, to, Trump says, too, that the United States is among the only countries in the world that says that even if neither parent is a citizen nor even lawfully in the country, their future children are automatic citizens the moment the parents trespass onto our soil. But he argues that case... For, but he argues that case for birthright citizenship for children of illegal aliens is built on a misinterpretation of the law. As has been laid out by many scholars, this policy is based on a historical myth and a willful misinterpretation of the law by the open borders advocates, Trump says in the video. Trump also says his promised executive order would end so-called birth tourism where people from other countries attempt to come into the United States to give birth to their children so they will be born in the U.S. with U.S. citizenship. Trump says his executive order would require that at least one parent be either a U.S. citizen or legally in the country. My order will also end the unfair practice known as birth tourism where hundreds of thousands of people from all over the planet squat in hotels for their last few weeks of pregnancy to illegitimately and illegally obtain U.S. citizenship for the child, often to later exploit chain migration to jump the line and get green cards for themselves and their family members, Trump says. It's a practice that's so horrible and so egregious, but we let it go forward. At least one parent will have to be a citizen or a legal resident in order to qualify. Yeah, I mean, I think this is really uh, reasonable. It's like if people are here, e even if they're not a citizen, and they're but they're legally here, okay, fine. I think this is a, a reasonable compromise from both sides, personally. Yeah, it is crazy. It's such an incentive to have people come over here. They, they all come in and then they have kids and then they get incentives or incentives and benefits from it. Yeah, it's not good. And then who has to pay for it? The American taxpayer, you know.
it's just with all these benefits that America has, it's that too. We start ending some of those also, at least start cutting back on them because, yeah, that's a huge incentive for people to come have kids here and then the whole family gets um, benefits from it. And again, the taxpayer has to pay for it. And like Trump says in this video, we just can't afford it. It'd be awesome if we could, but yeah, it's just unsustainable. There's way too many people on the planet to be able to do this. But, you know, that's just my opinion. What is your opinion of the story? Please let me know in the comments below. Plus, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for daily news updates. Hit that notification bell and share this video to help spread the news. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.